Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to be uh, doing a few demonstrations with more of an urban theme in mind. Uh, in this first demonstration I'm going to be using newspaper as my rolling medium for the Rudiger Row. Uh, while I've used a handful of the accelerants from my other videos with newspaper, by far the best two accelerants that I have that I've used personally for the Rudiger Row using newspaper is potassium permanganate and calcium hypochlorite. With potassium perma permanganate, excuse me, being my favorite to use with newspaper, um, the calcium hypochlorite is just uh, very volatile and it tends to burn through your material, be it either plant, fiber, cotton, whatever it is that you're going to be using. But it's still usable and it's uh, something to keep in the back of your mind if need be. Uh, here I am just simply rolling up a very small amount of the potassium permanganate in the newspaper and it takes a bit, you know. Newspaper isn't as, uh, I guess you could say durable as say like cotton, you know, it's, it's not going to be as strong but still it can be used and it also, uh, newspaper makes a very good tender bundle. Um, here I'm almost completed the, the rolling. I'm just going to apply a little spit to make sure the newspaper holds together. Interestingly enough, um, back to the calcium hypochlorite, when I've rolled it before, just by giving it a few hard passes forward in one direction just to make sure it was uh, uh, rolled up, I actually got ignition that way. And like I said, you know, <laughs> it's a, it's a very volatile substance, calcium hypochlorite is. But the potassium permanganate, it seems to be a bit less volatile, although still volatile, a lot less than calcium hypochlorite. Just a better uh, accelerant to use with the newspaper here. And here you just see me rolling it up. Uh, here in a second I get a, a pebble of some sort uh, stuck to the board and it gets into my row. I'm not really sure how that happened, but I have to chuck it out of there. I'm not sure what the deal is with that. But um, once I get it rolled up, you'll see how easy it is to, to get an ember using potassium permanganate with the newspaper. Yeah, the paper can be trying at times. It has a tendency to want to unroll. I'm not going to put a whole lot of force or effort into this. And that should be about it. But anyway, it's, uh, it works really well. Uh, with the newspaper the potassium permanganate does. I've done this quite a few times. I actually haven't done this in, for a while but uh, it's one of my uh, kind of favorite combinations I guess you could say. I have a few more uh, things to share with you today guys. Uh, something uh, using newspaper again here in a moment. Um, this is just a simple uh, ember extender that I've uh, created. I took uh, six, seven sheets of newspaper, about a foot wide and about two feet long, rolled those up and stuffed them down inside of a uh, paper towel cardboard roll. Here I basically just uh, lit one end. Now this makes a really good ember extender that you can transport and it'll last for a very long time. I've used one of these, heck, even since I was probably a kid. Here it's only been burning for about 10 or 15 minutes, and you don't have to have a flame to it. Um, with a little bit of time lapse here, I think here's about 20, 25 minutes in. Probably more like, yeah, about 20 minutes here, I think. And if need be, you can blow the end of this into a flame. and It just makes a really good, you know, transportable coal. You can just walk from one area to the next with it. It really doesn't even get that hot near the neck. And here's about I'd say 35-40 minutes in. It does a really good job and I've been blowing on this too. Blowing it to flame a bunch of times. So I'm sure this would last for probably over an hour easy. And if need be you can just blow the end of it into a flame. There I am just letting it set on a stone. <laughs> But um, I have another demonstration here in a few moments, guys, coming up. And someone had asked me if 
a battery had been exposed, like the insides had been exposed for like weeks or months, and uh, if it would still work with the rudder grow. And I'm like, yeah, absolutely. And uh, this next uh, video, I actually had a battery <laughs> laying in the, uh, the corner of my building, which it does get damp in there, and uh, you guys will see that. Here I am just uh, showing you that I have cotton, and uh, here's the battery. The I'm trying to think here right quick. I think I've got a, a piece of stick or something here to to pull this out. This uh, manganese dioxide, once it's exposed to the elements, that's basically the primary ingredient inside of batteries. That's the black stuff you see. Over time, if it's exposed to the elements, it's going to cake up, get pretty thick, and somewhat you know sticky I mean it's sticky anyway but it's gonna be I'm just taking my time to pull some of it out here I'm not gonna bring out a whole lot in this demonstration I probably should have used a little bit more I mean I just use a very small amount um, be very careful guys with batteries if the ends are exposed because those casings can cut you to the bone they're literally very dangerous very careful with any of the chemicals that you see me using if you're actually going to reproduce this which I recommend that you don't do what I do here most of my videos are for my own documentation but I do still like to share information with others here I am simply just rolling up uh, the manganese dioxide uh, in cotton and uh, I'm going to roll it up here then you'll see this has been exposed quite a bit and it still works never really had a problem with it it's one of the better catalysts obviously that's a chemical to use it's not volatile like uh, potassium permanganate or several of the others I've used before it's rather docile here I've got an ember but I wanted to roll for a few more seconds because uh, it kind of gets sticky and sometimes it's possible that it can snuff out your ember and as you can see it works well but anyway you guys have uh, a good evening and uh, I'll catch you on the, the next one bye bye